How long do you have to fast to get a nice increase in autophagy? The general consensus has always been that the longer you fast, the more of an upregulation of autophagy you're going to get until you reach a point of diminishing returns. But a new study just came out talking about how you can get a nice increase in autophagy fasting for much shorter periods of time. So in this video, let's first go over a real basic explanation of what autophagy is, and then I wanna break down this study for you. Now, a real simple way of looking at autophagy is the body's way of recycling and fixing weak and damaged organelles like mitochondria. See, a lot of people feel that the body is either growing or fixing or repairing itself. Like for example, let's say you had a big meal with a lot of protein you're stimulating growth, you're stimulating mTOR, as opposed to when you're fasting and you're on an empty stomach, you're resting, the body's repairing. A lot of people feel that if you can increase autophagy, you can extend your longevity. It's good for a long, healthy life, but you want a nice balance. And it can be really confusing because autophagy is somewhat of a never ending process. Just living like a healthy lifestyle is going to increase autophagy as well. But a lot of people are doing these 24, 48, 72 hour fast, if not longer, just to increase autophagy, but they may not have to. Based on this new study, you might be able to get the same benefit doing much shorter fasts. Now let's talk about this study. This was a Ramadan study where they took 25 healthy men and they had them fast between 17 to 19 hours, 30 days in a row. And they took blood work along the way. And what the researchers concluded is that after 30 days, from just the 17 to 19 hour fast per day, the participants had a really nice increase in autophagy, along with some other markers that showed an improvement in health. So this was a really interesting study. It showed that you can fast for 17, 19 hours and really get a nice uptick in autophagy. Now, I'm a big believer in intermittent fasting and time-restricted eating as an easy, excellent way to reduce calories without necessarily counting calories, but there really are other health benefits of being in a fasted state. And you don't have to torture yourself with these like 40, 72 hour fast. Based on this study and other studies as well, you can really get a lot of health and weight loss benefits doing these shorter fasts. So if you wanna learn more about intermittent fasting, time-restricted eating, and how you can use it to like reduce body fat and improve your health, check out this video.